decentralization and uh, teachers were allowed to buy and do this and the other. But after that, again, Mr. Speaker, we were presented with a report. And I remember I was in this house, Mr. Speaker, because this question is not the first time this has been asked. And we were told as a house that the reason why there was need to revert back to the old order is that uh, you'd find that for the same textbook, one school in Kakamega buys for 500 Kenya shillings. The other school in Vihiga, just next door, buys it for 750 uh, Kenya shillings. And therefore, a somewhat logical argument was presented and was said, then why not centralize? So, Mr. Speaker, the question should be, what have we learned from this attempted policy of centralizing and decentralizing uh, the purchase of school books and materials, uh, Mr. Speaker? And what measures have we put in place? In fact, and I hope, uh, oh, I think he has since left, I had seen the senator for uh, Muranga, who's our chairperson for education, but nonetheless, I know there are members of that committee who are in the House as we speak, and as members share their comments on this particular uh, question, is that the question they need to ask the ministry when they eventually appear before the House to respond to this question is, what safety nets have they put in place out of the experience that they have learned because it is an incontrovertible fact, Mr. Speaker, that there are pros and cons to both centralizing and decentralizing. The only thing that we need to do, Mr. Speaker, if we are a country that learns and makes the better decisions out of the experiences we've had, is to ensure that we have put the safety nets to ensure that whatever policy position we take on these items, be it to centralize or to decentralize, is to put in place the mitigation measures to ensure that taxpayers' money is protected. If you put it all procurement to be at your house, then let the schools request so that you just don't dump them with books, books that they have not even asked for. There could be alumni that have do, uh, donated, like I, I know for a fact in my county, Mr. Speaker, I organize an, uh, a countywide alumni day, and one of the things alumni always do is that they donate books in huge numbers to the schools that they went to. So you find that in some of these schools, they may not be needing the books that the national government is sending them to. That's why it will be important to put as one of the safety measures to ensure that the school must first request for those particular books, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. Second and most important is that if you choose to go the other way, should the ministry choose to let it be handled at the school level, Mr. Speaker, then at least provide a pricing list so that the schools are properly guided and know that there is no institution that is allowed to purchase uh, Kiswahili Mufti, if they, that book still exists. At least that's the best that I can remember, uh, Mr. Speaker. And no school is allowed to buy that book at above 450 Kenya shillings, Mr. Speaker. That way we will safeguard taxpayers' money. Otherwise, if we have just an argument, uh, Mr. Speaker, whether to centralize or decentralize, then it means we have learned nothing as a people. And I don't think that is what Kenyans expect us as a house that does oversight. So work unto you, members of Education Committee, when Ministry of Education appears. And please pass those regulations here so that by the time this policy position is uh, taken, we are well guided and hold the ministers to account. Then lastly, Mr. Speaker, is on these uh, diplomatic relations between Kenya and the Kingdom of uh, Morocco. Mr. Speaker, I will not get involved in the debate about whether what are the relations between Kenya and Morocco and what needs to be improved, what doesn't need to, uh, to be improved. I know for a fact, Mr. Speaker, that we have enjoyed good diplomatic relations with this country. It is only up until, I think, at the, during the presidential inauguration, that uh, Serawi Republic, which is a breakaway uh, from the Kingdom of Morocco, appeared and were formally recognized as part of the delegations that caused a tiff between us and them. That matter has since, to the best of my knowledge, been sufficiently addressed because it's not Kenya alone that finds itself in this uh, challenge between Morocco and Serawi. The rest of all countries of the world, because these people, each time when countries break away uh, from the other, they provide a diplomatic challenge to established uh, nations. Because on many accounts, when you want to disassociate, there are challenges with it. When you want to associate with them, therefore, Mr. Speaker, I'll leave it to the experts of foreign affairs to come and respond to the uh, question by my friend, Senator Eddie Okech. But I hold a different view from colleagues who are trying to demean the work of uh, Dr. Singwe. While I may not agree with him entirely in the process with which he used to uh, make a correction to a tweet 
that emanated from your office, Mr. Speaker. If I were in Dr. Singoye's position, the prudent thing uh, to do, Mr. Speaker, would have been to read, reach out to your office and let you actually make the correction because I'm, I, I, I know what he was trying to do is to give, of course, a, a formal complaint or informal may have reached him and said, is this the actual position of the government of Kenya? Because let's face it, Mr. Speaker, the same way people are saying your office is uh, high ranking in this republic, that's true. That's why when you send out a tweet, uh, other countries are bound to question and say, is this the official government position of Kenya? Therefore, it was within his place to try and put the proper position, uh, Mr. Speaker, on this particular, particular issue. The mode which he may have chosen to execute it is what we can debate here. But I can tell you, Senator Godfrey Osotzi, my good friend, you cannot hold a candle to, Senator, to, to, to the PS Abraham Singoye on matters foreign relations. That gentleman has earned his space. Many of our colleagues, including some that have served in this house uh, with him, actually came up from his work from both foreign affairs and human rights, especially on marginalized communities. Celebrated, published, uh, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, let us desist from this habit of being too critical of people. Surely, of all the work that Abraham Singwe has done, trying to restore Kenya's foreign uh, 